Welcome everybody back to the Graveyard Travel. I'm your host Troy E. McCormick. Today we're in St. John's Catholic Cemetery here in West Harrison, Ohio, at borders between Ohio and Indiana. So join me as we take a look at this Catholic cemetery, shall we? Let's go for a tour. Some unique headstones. Walking up, and I kind of saw this sitting here. I'm like, where does this go? Well, there's one right there, so I'll just add it to it. I guess Theodore W. Kramer, 1930 to 1963. He must have served in the military. I'll put it right there. He served. It says U.S. veteran. Could have been any war. 63, it might have been Korea. Alright, Francis Breitner. I'm, I'm guessing this might be a sister. Uh, January 10th, 1938 to January 28th, 2019. I like it. Hey, he must be a golfer and he loves the Reds. Uh, this is a Hayob. Lawrence J. and Marion E. Lawrence, born February 12th, 1920, passed away January 17th, 2003. His wife, Marion, born March 8th, 1926, passed away March 2nd, 2002. Mary, May 7th, 1946. Uh, beloved son, Louis W. Cole, February 15th, 16th, 2005. That's sad, man. This day. Oh, how softly you came into our lives, but what a mark your tiny footprints have made on our hearts. Oh, the West brought Michael E. and Mary A. That's their wedding picture. Of it. They're both married 14th of May, 1949. Michael was born January 11th, 1926. He passed away September 6th, 2018. His wife, Mary, born September 2nd, 1929. She passed away November 30th, 2003. Or anything on the back. Yeah, there they are there. May 14th, 1999. Our children, James, Michael, G, Linda, our grandchildren, James A, Weed, Wendy, Benjamin, Rochelle, Michael R, Joseph Paul, Catherine, Jacob, and Mary. Oh, Crystal Lynn Heob, December 17th, 1966. She passed away June 6th, 2007. That's some of the Christmas ornaments. And this is a picture of her on the back. Loving mother of Emily, Ann, and Ellie. Oh, the Minges. Joan and George. Joan, Joan was born December, June 5th, 1924. Passed away August 12th, 2009. Her husband, George, born February 16th, 1921. He passed away August 13th, 2016. Both married August 2nd, 1947. Colorful mural on their headstone. Hey, look at this gravestone. Sanderson. Uh, face snake. Yeah. It's fake. Uh, David Jr. L. David Jr. May 9th, 1950 to May 3rd, 2009. His wife is still with us, so I'm not going to film her. Yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. Uh, fake snake on top of the headstone. Jack and Elvira. Uh, picture of them. Married June 27, 1953. He was born October 19, 1928. He passed away January 20, 2013. Wife February 21st, 1922. She passed away January 26, 2012. And on the back. Look at that. Standing elf. Oh, beloved daughter and sister, Natalie Mary Gilday. Born December 17, 1993. She passed away March 19. 2018, that's a picture of her. Her little dog. Dick I like the Mickey Mouse ears. Mickey, she was a fan of Disney. Alright, beloved son, brother, and uncle, George Earl Feller. He was born July 16, 1953. He passed away January 25th, 2025. 2020, two years ago. May heaven's eternal joy be thine. And on the back picture of him. Gone but not forgotten. Princess Amy M. Lamp. February 2nd, 1976. Passed away October 11th, 1991. Home in the back. 
Yep. Dawn to the beach will wander. I'll give you a shell from the sea and then you will hear it. Whisper an ocean of love for me. Amy Lowe. Hey, we're walking up to this big cross with Jesus on it. Look at the base of it. Is that the base right in front of it? It's the grave of Reverend Henry Ellerman, ordained in 1892. He was born in 1866, he passed away in 1941. And what a place to be laid to rest, right at the foot of Jesus Cross. All right, this one's Leonard Wayne Minges. Of course, everybody calls him Lenny. He was born October 18th, 1959. He passed away January 28th, 2009. Look at that. Farm with deer. And on the back. Ah. That must be him. So dear Lenny, you are a great farmer, or an even better fisherman, and the best hunter. For these things, you are proud of you. You are a great brother, an even better son, and the best father. For these things, we love you. Uh, the ninjas had stone, Leonard R. and Wilma. Uh, Leonard was born October 10th, 1932. He passed away February 18th, 2017. Wilma, born March 15th, 1933. She passed away December 10th, 2003. Look at that. That's their home, I guess, farm. The lake, a pond, on the back. Oh. Each soul is a beautiful flower that passes from this earth only to bloom again in heaven's garden. Heaven the garden. Uh, this is Camilla Nye. Uh, she's born 13th, 1954, March 2nd, 2009. What is that, September 13th? I like it. She's on the back. Oh, look at that. Jet. Into thy hands I cometh my spirit. All right. As I was driving by, I noticed this headstone. What a unique, interesting, fascinating headstone right here. In the shape of a Mack truck. Peterbilt Mack truck. The last name's Culture, and the person buried here is Anthony Lewis, or Tony as they called him. Born November 12th, 1956. He passed away September 8th, 2014. Oh my goodness. This caught my eye when I came driving in. Let's see what's on the back. Whoa. All right, when tomorrow starts without me, please try to understand. An angel came and called my name and took me by the hand. This angel said a place was ready in heaven up above and that I'll have to leave behind all those I truly love. I had so much to live for, so much yet to do. It seemed almost impossible that I was leaving you. But when I walked through heaven's gates, I felt so much at home. When tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart. Every, for every time you think of me, I'm right here in your heart. Chester, let's get her dog. His name cross. I'll tell you what, that is so, so unique. That's why I love doing this channel. Oh, look at this. Kelly Renee Bischoff, December 6, 1982 to March 30th, 1989. There's a poem down here. Kelly, our love for you cannot be measured, for there is nothing to compare it to. As we look into the future, we will always see you yesterday and our family as a whole. Our memories of that love and togetherness will carry us through time until we are together again. Love you, Mom, Dad, and Steven. Let's see what's on the back. Oh, home. Oh. Rainbow bright, I think. Yeah, rainbow bright. Do not, do not stand in my grave and weep. I am not there. I am. Do not sleep. And I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond's glint of snow. I am the sunlight of ripening, ripening grain. I am gentle autumn's rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush. Of quiet birds in circle flight, I am the soft star that shine at night. Do not stand in my grave and cry, I am there, I did not die. Oh, look at this. Karen Sue Holly. October 15, 1953 to November 18, 2021. And she, it looks like the Disney castle from Walt Disney World, doesn't it? It's cool. Spike, that's what they call him, Michael Walter Davis, November 14, 1980, he passed away February 8, 2002, 
I love my family and friends and Mike. Big long spike. There's a picture of it. back. Oh, look at that. It's a beast. Oh, loving dad and grandpa. Kenneth W. Lewis Camp. September 21st, 1949. Passed away March 30th, 2006. Look at that. A boy fishing in a little creek with a truck going by. Come back. Oh. Oh, he's a U.S. Uh, Navy vet from Vietnam. God saw he was getting tired and a cure was not to be found. So he put his hands around him and whispered, Come with me. Tearful eyes, we watched him suffer and saw him fade away. Though we loved him dearly, we could not make him stay. A golden heart stopped beating hard, working hands at rest. God broke our hearts to prove he is. He only takes the best. Robert J. Bischoff, who's one of the nicknames Robbie, must be his wife and him. Uh, Tanya's still here, some of us still here. They were both married on June 7th, 1980. I'm going to show the back. Home. A limb has fallen from the family tree that says, Greed not for me, remember the best times, and the laughter, the song, and the good life I lived. Well, I was strong. Like a car. Uh, believe in life. Patrick T. Deersing. April 21st, 1989. Passed away January 9th, 2011. We thought of you with love today, but that is nothing new. We thought about you yesterday and days before that too. We think of you in silence. We often speak your name. Now all we are are memories and your picture is a frame. Your memory is our keepsake with which we will never part. God has you in his keeping and we have you in our hearts. Uh, love father, son, brother, Dell R. Braun. December 3rd, 1965. Passed away August 24, 2013. I guess he was a Ohio State fan. I'm guessing. This thing on the back. Yeah, there is. Oh, he's a U.S. vet too, from U.S. Navy. Gone and I forgot. Then as it was, then again it will be. And though the course may change sometimes, the rivers always reach the sea. Uh, somebody remembers. I can't hardly read it. There's a fresh set of flowers on it. Somebody remembers. That is truly unique. And it's very hot to heartwarming to see that that some people still remember an old gravestone like this now, in every video I try to find a fallen marine or somebody who used to be in the Marine Corps and I found one yep. Wilhelm Richard H born May 30th 1926 he passed away February 20th 1998 and his wife Mary Alice June 25th 1929 April 1st or August 1st 2010 both married May 30th, 1991. Rest in peace, Richard. Except for Fry. Except for Fry, Richard. Oh, look. Peak. December 13th, 2003. Babies. Some people come into our lives and quickly go. Some stay for a while and leave footprints on our hearts. And we are never, ever the same. What is that? Lucas, Josie, and Will. Rita May Tharp. September 20th, 1942, passed away March 1st, 1995. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Beautiful mural. Back. She's the beloved mother of Denise, Barbara, Harvey James III, and Tracy Rose. Or Shell. Uh, USS Renshaw, DD 499. Edward. March 31st, 1924, July 5th, 2001. Wife Lucille, October 4th, 1927, passed away May 28th, 2003. Both married October 15th, 1949. She's got the ship USS Renshaw, and she has an angel with a harp. This is our beloved angel. Well, let's pick all this stuff up first. Uh, like, oh, looks like it broke off. All right. Adeline Neva Emoff, March 29, 2012. Our beloved angel. She didn't get a chance, did she? That's sad. Forever chasing butterflies in, our, in heaven. Too beautiful for Earth. Oh, Fox, look at the Virgin Mary. 
George A., August 22nd, 1919. He passed away May 25th, 2007. Dolores, his wife, April 12th, 1920. She's born. She passed away November 4th, 2002. Will marry Mary, Thurs, March 1936. And I just like the unique history. Oh yeah, Rudolph was a U.S. World War II vet too. Oh, beloved son, loving son, Mark Everett Orshell, June 21st, 1981 to April 23rd, 2003, M.E.D. It broke my heart to lose you, but you didn't go alone. Part of me went with you and God called you home. Oh, right, home. Reads, when we lose someone we love, it seems that time stands still. What moves us is a silence, a quiet sadness, and longing for one more day, one more word, one more touch. We may not understand why you left us earth so soon, or why you left before we were ready to say goodbye, but little by little we begin to remember not just that you died, but you lived. And that your life gave us memories too beautiful to forget. We will see you again someday in heavenly place where there is no parting. A place where there are no words that mean goodbye. We love you and miss you, Mom, Dad, Kevin, Matt, Amanda, and Shannon, family, and friends. Now, this is a huge, huge headstone, but I'm not going to show all of it. I like this. Archangel, I'm guessing. Now, this is... Love son Michael G. Born February 25th, 1990. He passed away May 8th, 2003. I borrow an angel sometimes in this life when we don't know. God sends an angel to help us grow. Angels live among us in love and in grace. They help shape our lives. They illuminate our space. They don't have wings. They have character and grace. They don't fly above us. We embrace our loving face. They're a gift, these angels. They're a piece of God's heart. They have an impact it's work of art we're happy when you're with us we we're safe we're secure and without them with us sadness is in store the lord calls them home sometimes young it is true but because the angel loved you your hearts will go there too these angels that come here are borrowed from above and where god places them he embraces them, him with his love sometimes that angel comes into the face of a son and he loves and he shares in the same point he's done. He grow, he goes off in the peace and prepare a special place for the family who loved him and shared in his grace. On the back, family. I can't read below. I wish I could. Uh, YouTube might strike it down. But I'll show you the pictures. Above here is a song from The Dance by Garth Brooks. I can't, I don't think I should really uh read that but karate kid cry kid cry kid look what you have done you deserve a belt you have won you broke the boards and passed the test to prove you are the best but now they sit as dust collects and memories build a new adventure sets karate kid karate kid your time came too sudden we miss you along with all the children for you they closed the school because they knew you were so cool they become sad but i stayed strong and so did you too you were a strong guy, and they all knew. Karate Kid, Karate Kid, what many friends you had. You always kept them happy and never made them sad. There was never one that you hated. They were all equally treated. You will never be forgotten. Your memories will always be there. You were made for God, and our times together is what we will share. Love and memory, Mark D. Heck Jr. Born November 10th, 1984. He passed away April 30th, 2007. It's him right there. Anchored in the harbor upon the sea of peace, serenity surrounds me with each wave that is released. Calm and peaceful waters, warm embracing winds, bellows blowing in, life's storm have ceased from coming in. The light of life has got it remaking the way sure. Anchored in this harbor to rest forevermore. I think there's some on the back too. Yeah, there is. There he is. Water skin. Brother, someone who always cares, who one who's always there learn the way or show the way will always know what to say lead or follow live for tomorrow in the sky or in the flesh always one that knows best always loved and never forgotten brother patient dog yeah, more like pretty cool uh, this one's 
Amber Lynn Volk. Picture of her. February 9th, 1985. Passed away September 5th, 2008. What's up? Go back up here. I think it goes here. I think there's a poem on the back. Yes, there is. I can do all things, though Christ who strengthens me. Oh, loving son, brother, uncle, and grandson. Stephen Michael Wally II, April 22nd, 1980. Passed away April 21st, 2016. In the back, the poem. Your presence we miss, your memories are we treasure. Loving you always, forgetting you never. Uh, Elizabeth Nicole Schaefer Ree, or go by Liz. Born August 23rd, 1994. She passed away March 27th, 2020. We have daughter Dana and Christina Ree. Sister of Tesla and DeMarco Ree. There's a poem on the back. Yes, there is. Spread your wings and fly. <laughs> Alright, thanks for joining me on this latest cemetery tour here at St. John's Catholic Cemetery in West Harrison, Ohio. I just want to say that it's unique, new unique cemetery. I mean, Catholic cemeteries are unique. And that one of the nice looking headstone, you gotta watch it. It's awesome. All right, I want to thank you for joining me today and everybody here at the St. John's Catholic Cemetery. Rest in peace. I'll see you on the next video and do take care of yourself and take care of loved ones. Bye.